Here at Sorted, we are proud to be British, which is why we are doing Toe in the Hole. This version of Toe in the Hole starts with some roasted red onions and venison sausages. Ooh. We'll make a batter from egg, flour and milk. Serve it with some nice braised peas and a red wine gravy. Yum. Family favourite. I cannot wait. It is my family favourite. So it begins with a couple of red onions, which I'll yep. do. And if you can take our sausages. Now, toad in the hole. Traditionally, pork sausage. Frog. Given its name because of what it looks like when it comes out the oven. Not because of what's in it. No frogs, no toads. No. Nope. Any sausage you want. Now, we asked you guys what sausage would be best. And one of the top suggestions was venison. So we've got some beautiful venison sausages. So if you can give those all a little bit of a prick so they don't mm -hmm. explode. And I'm going to take our onion, I've peeled it, all we're going to do is chunk it up into big pieces with the onions chunked and the sausages pricked. All we mm -hmm. need to do is put them into a tray, so perhaps onions first as kind of a base. And it's a big sort of family sized dish, you could do individual ones. And present the sausages how you want, because remember, when you serve it, they're still going to be facing the same way. So what's in between this and a normal Yorkshire pudding with sausages on the side? Just because they're inside of it? it Processed, yeah. So okay. people have asked us for the whole, people have asked yeah. us how to make uh, Yorkshire pudding. I'm just quite strong, I'm nearly crying. Oh, That's no, how bless you! I don't often do that. Oh, okay, they are, they are very strong. They are quite strong. Such a beautiful dish. Next up, a glug of oil, and it's a quite large amount of oil because we want those to fully roast, and that's what's going to help brown our batter later on. So that yep. can go into an oven at 225 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. Oh, this is hard. I can't see. While we make our batter. Now, believe it or not, I'm not from a very foodie background at all. My mum used to go out and buy Yorkshire puddings. Pre-made ones. I'm sorry, everybody. You can do, they're easy, they're all absolutely perfect every time. However, it's use so this method, much better. and they're also perfect every time. Mum, I'm disappointed in you. Easy, I think this is possibly one of the easiest recipes ever. Grab yourself a measure, a cup, a ramekin, a mug, mm -hmm. whatever you want, a measure, whatever you want, and it needs to be equal measure of egg, flour, and milk. Simple as. So break our eggs into the cup. We've got a cup of flour, a cup of milk, and break in enough eggs into there so we have a cup of beaten egg. And then all you have to do is beat them all together to a smooth batter. So you can do that. Start with the egg, then go in with some of the flour, some of the milk. Do you ever need to flavour the batter at this point or not? Season, and that's right. all we're going to do, salt and pepper. But you could flavour it as well mm -hmm. with some mustard powder or some oh. paprika. You can mix it up. You can use a mixer for this if you want to get it completely smooth. But actually, you're doing a pretty good job there. We'll hey, season mum, it up. How easy was that? Next time, no excuses. So plenty of pepper in there as well. You don't need to put too much air into this. As long as it's combined, it's fine. Try and get it lump free. If you mm -hmm. have got any lumps, pass it through a sieve at this point. Solve that problem. We grab our sausages out now. And this bit has to be done quite quickly. Oh. So the sausage is back down on the board. And while the tray is still roasting hot Sizzling. and the oil is still bubbling, you can see they've started to cook. Look at that. The onions have started to soften. All of this goes in and over, and that is our batter. It combines with all the oil, which will make it go nice and golden. Oh, amazing. Just enough to cover the base, and then Straight back, in. back into the oven. And this is the key bit, 25 minutes, still at the same temperature of 225 degrees Celsius, and leave it. Don't be tempted to open the door and peek halfway through. It needs to cook, rise, and crisp up before you take it out. Boom. After just 15 or 20 minutes of cooking, our turn the hole looks risen. Don't be tempted to open it up because it's not quite cooked all the way through. No. But in the 10 minutes it needs remaining, we can make our peas and our gravy. So Not just any normal peas. Rosemary, garlic and bacon. They say if you're selling your house and you've got people coming around to look at the house, yeah. you should bake bread, uh -huh. cook off these, it just yeah. smells incredible. You should bring out a fragrance then <laughs> with these smells. Garlic, rosemary and yeah. bacon. Efrelli. It's a winner every time. Winner every time. I'm not sure you want to wear it. It's a winner every time. All we're going to do is fry these off in a relatively hot pan with a tiny glug of oil. We'll give the bacon a head start of a couple of minutes and then we'll add in our garlic and rosemary. In the other pan, I'm going to take a glass of red wine and reduce that down to about half. Red wine makes any gravy. Now's a good time to add in our rosemary and garlic. And as it hits the pan, we give it a oh. little bit of a shake up. Oh. That smell. That's it. Bottle that, and we've got success. Once you've got a little bit of colour onto that mm. bacon, the peas can go in. Now these are frozen petit pois, and all I've done is defrost them, because they're going to go into the pan. They literally oh. just need to warm through for a second. A tiny splash of water helps that along. Season them up with a little bit of black pepper, and a pinch of salt. All of our beef stock can go into our reduced red wine, and that's just beef stock we've bought, but of course, if you've got beef stock at home, you can make it. And at this point, I'm putting a few fresh herbs just to bubble away. So another stick of rosemary, and some fresh thyme. And it's just enough 
just to give a little bit of flavour without overpowering that gravy. Bring that up to a bubble. Peas pretty much there. And you can grab and I'll the pudding. whole out the oven. Oh, ha, hey, ha. Straight over onto our board. Oh, look at that. There's the peas, steaming, oh. braised, beautiful. And this is the gravy. We did cheat by buying a beef stock, but we've enhanced so it with simple. a bit of red wine and a few fresh herbs. And we'll just dribble that in. Do you want to get it into the gravy boat? So I made a little bit of a mess, but that is our homely toad in the hole with braised peas and red wine gravy sorted. Every element in this dish is so simple in its own right, but it works so well together. Complimentary, a perfect family favourite. No, and thank you very much for making it, and thank you, you, for recommending it. This is a true British classic. We mm. want to know from you, though, what other British classics have we yet to cook in video form? Comment below, and we'll get them done.